Yellowstone supervolcano, why a researcher recently claimed it's a ticking time bomb waiting to erupt. Well, there have been many that have been warning that it's waiting to erupt. One of them, one of the people who are knowledgeable concerning Yellowstone is Dr. Michio Kaku, a city university, city college, sorry, of New York, claiming that it's Godzilla and it's a sleeping giant waiting to erupt. So, Callum Hoare reports of the recent Express UK article. Yellowstone supervolcano is labeled the ticking time bomb. This was during a documentary on the supervolcano. But is that a real true classification? Is it proper to think of it as a ticking time bomb? Now, the Yellowstone caldera is a supervolcano in Wyoming, the national park. It's located at the northwest corner of Wyoming, bordering with Montana and Idaho. And uh, we've recently been pensive about what's happening with uh, supervolcanoes now that we're having these, these, these tremendous earthquake swarms in California, unprecedented. In the video before this one, we saw that there were over 2,000 today actually 1,900 and something just in California alone. Now, something very strange is going on there and it's got the geologists worried because there are various faults that are uh, tangenting, crisscrossing each other, giving these earthquakes. It's not just one fault. So the Yellowstone supervolcano in uh, Wyoming the volcano is constantly being monitored by USGS for signs of any D4, any, anything that would give signs of an eruption. And um, the recent California earthquakes caused anguish to the public, of course, because they're thinking how this would affect, the, all this tremendous shaking would affect Yellowstone. And now one of the videos before this one, we showed that the seismograph showed that the whole uh, of the United States shook. That was with the 6.4. And it must have shaken a lot more with the 7.1. And it's still shaking. And um, the whole world actually shook, not just the United States. In 2017, Smithsonian Channel released a documentary. It was titled... This could be the next Mount St. Helens. And that, in that documentary, they explained that a Yellowstone eruption is overdue. They said, quote, There is one volcano in the U.S. with the potential to wreak devastation on a far greater scale. It's located 575 miles away from Mount St. Helens in the northwest corner of, my, of Wyoming for over a century Tens of millions of visitors have marveled at Yellowstone's breathtaking scenery. But beneath this spectacular beauty lies the ticking time bomb. Yellowstone is one of the largest volcanic, volcanic systems on Earth, and scientists call it a supervolcano because of the size of past explosions. End quote. Now, we know that Yellowstone Volcano Observatory was not there until very recently, after the 2000 documentary by BBC pointing out the dangers of a supervolcano Yellowstone eruption, the government was moved to um, establishing the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory in that area to keep a better eye in monitoring what was going on at Yellowstone. It has over 60% of the world's geysers and it has over 10,000 uh, thermal areas. So uh, it's good that there, of course, the geologists, that was established in 2001. The, the geologists have a lot of work to do still um, because a lot of the times that area is covered with over, over at least four feet of snow. Uh, for example, they just started May 1st uh, their, their uh, field trips in order to uh, ascertain that their monitor will work correctly. They took some pictures and they were still under four feet of snow they had to shovel into. Uh, to get to the monitors. So it's not very easy for them to always be out there and uh, doing their jobs. Now, the theory behind 
uh, what's going on with Yellowstone's super volcanic uh, eruptions and what happened in the past. Uh, the theory comes after the last three caldera forming eruptions, 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 630,000 years ago were super eruptions. Then they had a major eruption 70,000 years ago, and they've had another 80 eruptions after that. But one of the uh, latest articles I read from USGS says that there was also uh, an eruption 130,000 years ago. And remember I pointed it out in one of my videos, that was the first time I ever heard of that. We, had, we were always being told 630 and then 70. Well, no, there was also 130,000 years between the 630 and the 70,000. So uh, there was another six, uh, 80 eruptions since the 70,000 and were overdue. Many believe this proves that we can expect another super eruption in the future, but USGS geologists say this theory could uh, not be more wrong. Their website reads, first of all, quote, first of all, one cannot present recurrence intervals based on only two values. It would be statistically meaningless. But for those who insist, let's do the, arith the arithmetic. The three eruptions occurred 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 6, uh, 0.64 million years ago. Two intervals are thus, well, they go into all this and saying, okay, uh, again, the eruption was uh, 0.64 million years ago, complained that we are still about 90,000 years away f from the time when we might consider calling Yellowstone overdue for another caldera forming eruption. Okay, they're talking about super eruptions. And they go on to say, we cannot discount the possibility of another such eruption occurring sometime in the future, given Yellowstone's volcanic history and the continued presence of magma beneath the Yellowstone caldera. It's also believed that signs of a uh, future eruption like earthquake swarms and rapid ground deformation would be detectable for weeks, if not months, before such an eruption. Now, Yellowstone Park Ranger Rebecca Rowland recently came out with uh, a statement, and she says, warning signs would show Yellowstone had come to the end of its volcanic cycle. But uh, why should we be listening to a park ranger? Uh, she's not a geologist, and she should not be uh, giving such statements if she's not a specialist in such things. That's my personal opinion. And she said in 2017, it goes through volcanic cycles, the geysers, the hot springs, those are evidence of the heat underneath and the end of a volcanic cycle. So what most likely would happen is something like a hydrothermal explosion rather than an eruption. Okay, again, this is a park ranger. I'm sorry to say thank you very much, Miss Rebecca Rowland, for your uh, interest, but I would uh, rather listen to a scientist, a geologist, someone who knows, instead of a park ranger. So I'll leave a link below for you for this. And uh, they have uh, informed us, uh, reassured us, that the California quakes have absolutely nothing to do with Yellowstone, that the quakes in uh, California have nothing to do with unsettling uh, the stability uh, and the normality of what goes on in Yellowstone. So we'll keep updates on this, obviously, because it's very important. 2,000 quakes in that area today in California. And um, Yellowstone has been pretty quiet. I haven't gone into any uh, seismographs, but it, uh, from what they say, I'm going to see what we see. Uh, they, it's pretty quiet. And I'll leave a link below for you for this on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, 
and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.